Good afternoon people on the internet. Today is all about the bodywork of the car. We're gonna do a lot of spahelka and sanding down and then spahelka and then sanding down. So I already started with the front of the car, fixed the dent in the door a bit, fixing now the roof. Then we have those arches which we're not sure what we're gonna do yet but the biggest one of them all is the boot. We already started to smoothing out uh, the boot lid but we're only gonna care about this much of it because we have this bad boy that's gonna go to the boot like this. Sheesh. So we got this from Uncle Gobla. I was looking for a wing to Kevin a couple months ago and he told me he has this. Didn't work with Kevin because it's from the S13 and now we have an S13. So now we're gonna just smooth out this much of a boot lid, the, the bit that's actually visible and don't care about the rest. And then we're definitely gonna work on that in this video because that is just... It's just disrespectful, man. Okay, so to better understand the situation with the arches, we need to sand them down so we see where it's been welded and just to see more information about them. So we're sanding down yesterday and realized that it's so much dust in the air that it's not really worth to film it because the camera is getting damaged and um, it's just a very dirty process. So we finished yesterday and we are back today with a fresh mind. Fresh mind, fresh clothes that are not going to be fresh anymore. I don't mind sanding. I actually kind of like it and it's satisfying, but the mess that it makes on my days, yeah. mud. For the last couple of days, we've been really uh, contemplating about this car in general, what we want to do with it and how we want to treat it. Do we want to put a lot of effort into it or just make it drivable and that's it? One thing that we were dreading is this engine bay. It's, uh, it definitely has its run, you know, it's damaged in so many places, so many random holes and drills and that we don't need and it's just not very pretty sight. It looks and it looks very fresh from the like yeah, from, from afar. Yeah, from far away. The video probably looks alright for you, but when you are here, like all this is just destroyed. Like here, everything is bent. It's just been through some stuff, and I think when we have an engine out and a lot of shit out, we can take some time and just make it more clean. Yeah, and we were thinking, should we just you know put a bit of um, body filler and you know just call it a day, paint it a bit, and that's it, or should we actually strip it all off completely? and properly pay attention to it, repaint it properly, weld all these holes shut that we don't need, cut everything out that we don't need. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So the plan for today is to sand it down and see what's underneath the paint because we tried yesterday a bit and it was quite a lot of um, body filler and like someone put the body filler onto the bare metal and that's why this body filler just comes off like, like this very easily. So we need to strip it all off again most of it, yeah. Yeah, most of it. Then put, uh, what's the English name? The Primer. Primer. Put a primer on it and then... <sighs> then put a primer and then put body filler again. Yeah, and we also have an idea for the color of the car already. And I think we're gonna paint the engine bay with the same color as we're gonna uh, paint the whole car. If that makes sense. Okay, let's get to work.
Okay, so we got rid of most of the uh, body filler, the old body filler that was, most of the places it was put on a uh, bare metal, which is never a good idea. You should put a epoxy primer in between. That's what we learned hard way a couple yes. times. Um, you see on the engine bay, you have many different holes and most of them, they won't be needed to use by us. Um, we're gonna leave a couple holes like these probably because they have a thread in it and you can mount, for example, your power steering um, uh, reservoir or some other things. But most of the holes, especially the ones without the thread, they're gonna need to go. Yeah, I would rather weld a bit too many holes and then we can drill new ones if we need to put something in that spot. So yeah. I think it's just better and gonna make it look way cleaner. So what I'm gonna do now is weld those holes then grind the welds and we'll see we'll see what's next. Tuck. Marco's gonna spend some time and cover all the cars and everything because it's just way too much dust. And also we're gonna cover the, the windows because like the last video we were welding, I was welding at the back here and a lot of sparkles and shit was going onto the window and we don't wanna have it damaged. So yeah. So because we need some space for the S13 inside the garage, I had to move my Miata out and it's getting very cold now and some days we really have below zero degrees and I really cannot look at my car, you know, standing outside. So we're gonna transport it back to home and we're gonna put it in the garage where it all started. There's bolt. Well, this is going to be in anyway. Okay, so while they're taking the Miata out, I need to go and make some space for it in our old garage. Man, the memories. <laughs> uh, like I said, we're definitely gonna clean it uh, just after we got the new garage, yeah. so cool to have uh, this car back here in that place where everything started actually good night see you spring i guess Okay, so pretty much the welding job is finished. The whole process is pretty uh, time and work consuming, but I think it's gonna be worth when we're gonna see the engine bay freshly painted with the color. What do you think, Bozo? Oh, Bozo, First what do you say? What do you say? 
Why you spit on my car? <laughs> the next step is to put the epoxy primer on those parts where we can see the bare metal. Okay, epoxy primer is on. From the archers I've sealed all the welded spots. So now I just need to wait until it gets dry and we're gonna start with body filler. I'm gonna try to even the surface as much as I can. And for now, while I'm waiting until this get dry, I think I'm gonna go and cut out this, this ugly arch and see what's under. Because I have a feeling that we're gonna be able to get back to the stock fender shape. Okay, so Volkswagen Golf arch goes to pin and underneath we found a stock arch that has been cut a little bit over the lip. So on the S13 forum I, I am on, I asked if there is anyone that can measure for me how many centimeters is from this bit here to the arch. And one of the guys was kind enough to send me the picture and on the picture I can see that the stock fenders are five and a half centimeters below this line. In case of our Nissan, it's around three and a half centimeters. So what that tells us is someone cut out a stock fender two centimeters over the, the, the lip. And with this information, we know that we need to have two more centimeters of steel and a lip to get back to the stock fenders. I'm not gonna do it myself. I don't feel confident enough to play with the arches because they are very visible. So I'm gonna ask my friend who helped us rebuild the E30 front after the accident and I think he's gonna help us to go back to the stock fenders. But this after, for now, get back to the engine bay. Okay, it's uh, next day, actually evening already. We spent all day trying to smooth out this engine bay, but it wasn't very easy. So we had to call the Spahelka master. I work for 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 for, for, for NASA. <laughs> Why <are> you? <laughs> <laughs> NASA. Yeah, Spahelka. You feel me? Yes. Good. <laughs> so Bozo came and he put way more Spahelka than we had before and he said this is the way to do it. Yes. It's very cold in the garage so Spahelka mm. dries very very slow. But yeah. Okay, so we spent Hold another day here in the garage. We definitely made progress. The the engine bay just painted it. You touched. Oh it. shit! The engine bay is looking much better. Uh, it still needs some work though, and we're leaving to England tomorrow for a week. So we're gonna keep it like it is, and when we're back from England, we're gonna. 
be back with work here. In the last video that uh, we posted, we asked you if you want to see more of these sort of videos where nothing very major good looking is happening here, you know, not, no major changes to the car. And you said you would like to see those. So here's the video of us working on an engine bay for 15 minutes straight. For three days for us. Yeah, three days for us, 15 minutes for you. Okay, I just want to show how it looks for now. It's definitely getting there. There is just a little bit spot that I need to put a more body filler, but the whole shape is kind of even now. And I think for most of you on um, people on the internet, uh, this doesn't look like much of a change, but in real life, if you will see this car, oh, it is big change. With this, I suppose that will be the end of the video and we are off to London. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Blah, 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 blah.